Hey guys, Harry here and welcome to another video. In the background you'll see a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, gameplay free-for-all. I went 30 for 4 so that's pretty good. Using the class of a Vector and a Scorpion I believe. Quite a good gameplay, lasts about 6 minutes long. However, that is not the purpose of this video. I'll be talking about my thoughts on FIFA 15, some of the new features and also the new Premier League season. Who I think is going to do well and maybe not so well if I get time. So starting with fifth, uh, FIFA 15, they've announced that all 20 stadiums in the Barclays Premier League are going to be included. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, every single stadium, you know, you've got the likes of Old Trafford, Turf Moor, Stamford Bridge. You know, every stadium you could possibly want in the BPL. Uh, all of them look absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if you've seen any pictures of the actual stadiums but they look very very good um, EA have obviously focused on that area looking at the crowd how they can improve that and the details of the stadium I was looking at a picture of Old Trafford on FIFA 15 yesterday and it looks very very good so that's a good point uh, FIFA 15 so far another thing that was announced two days ago i believe was the introduction of goal line technology now you might be like um well fifa's gonna have that anyway it's a game it's it's that's part of the game it knows what it's in yes but it's more a kind of replay thing if the ball uh, let's say just goes on the line doesn't cross the line then the commentators can go to goal line technology talk about it you know how it how we can now see that it didn't go over the line and then there's none of this oh it went over the line business when it clearly didn't so that's going to stop a lot of uh, crap talking from a lot of people goal line technology very good uh, that they've implemented that into the game that's going to that's going to make it more fun as well playing with friends you know you, you can have a lot of fun with that another thing in FIFA 15 apparently they've announced i haven't seen much about it but a friend told me about it is the loan system on ultimate team now i'm not sure about this apparently you can loan players from ea themselves not from player to player which i originally thought like from my friend to another friend apparently it's from ea so for example if there's an informed player that's just come out and i like the look of maybe i could loan him out for a week for a certain price i don't really know how it works or a certain amount of certain amount of games. I assume he just goes back automatically to EA once the time is up because if he didn't, obviously people wouldn't give him give the player back. So it'll be interesting to see if that does work. If it exists, of course, I'm, it, I'm not sure. I, as I said, I haven't heard too much about. It, but if it is, then it'll be very very good. Uh, a f another thing that hasn't necessarily been leaked by EA themselves, but a few player ratings that have potentially been leaked. I'm not sure if they're true. I've had a look at some of them. Some of them seem pretty much perfect. Uh, you know, the likes of Messi and Ronaldo, they're exactly the same, I believe. Some of the other ones, um, I was looking at a few teams, they seem to be a bit high in some cases, or very, very low, very harsh in some cases but we'll see how that goes they could all be made up for all i know we'll just see what happens uh... i do believe overall fifa 15 is going to be a good game i mean people complain that they don't change it uh... fifa much each year it's the same thing well at the end of the day it's a, it's a football game isn't it there's not much you can do it's already a fantastic game we're lucky we've got a game like this as opposed to pez who's in my opinion it's not very good um, but yeah, I, th I think it's going to be a great game, you know, they've implemented a lot of new things, uh, l lots of new graphics as well, the graphics I actually haven't talked about, new player faces, uh, they're incredible, they're so detailed, they look exactly like the players, that's because they've called them in, uh, the players took a picture of them and then implemented that into the graphics aspect of the game, so that's going to be very, very good. Um, uh, was it David De Gea? He looks exactly the same as he does in real life when I saw him yesterday. So that is a great uh, thing to FIFA 15. Then talking about the new Barclays Premier League season. 
obviously a lot of new things are going to be in the Premier League. You know, Manchester United obviously got rid of David Moyes and replaced him with Louis van Gaal. So I expect them to do a lot better. They've also signed Under Herrera and Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw won for the future, definitely only 18 years old. Chelsea have bought Drogba, Costa and was it Felipe Luiz and Fabregas of course. So they've really strengthened their squad. I believe them and Manchester City are probably favourites for the league. Moving on to Liverpool, and that, that's a bit of an interesting one. Suarez obviously um, left the team for Barcelona, but they've still got a very good team. They've bought the likes of Markovic, Lambert, Lalana. So they've still got a very good team. It'll just see, we'll just have to see how they'll cope without the goal scorer in Suarez, because none of those players can really replace the goals that you would think. We'll just have to see. Uh, obviously, they lost in the final of the, of the International Champions Cup to Manchester United, but Manchester United played very well in that. Um, another, I, I don't really have t time to talk about t too many teams, but I'll talk about one more. Um, Arsenal, they've obviously bought Sanchez, Debussy, uh that's all I can think of off the top of my head, but they're two very, very good signings. Uh, they bought a keeper as well, was it Ospina? Um, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed, I believe Arsenal will do fairly well. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Leave your opinions on how the Premier League is going to go. And